Hi everyone, I'm going to give you a little thrift store haul. I went out with my daughter the other day to the real thrift store. And look what I found. A giant, oh it's so heavy, super large piano paper. How large is it, you say? I don't know. I didn't measure it. Where's my ruler? Ah, I lost my ruler. Oh, just about to accuse my crafty husband. Okay, it's almost 14 inches, three quarters, 13 and three quarters of an inch by, I'll do this way, 10. Wow, so big. And then this one is so thick. One and a half inches. Ooh. I really didn't need as much music paper. 12 by uh, 9. But I couldn't leave it. It was because it was so big. I took it out of the nice bag. Yeah, and it was discounted from 20 Twenty dollars down to five. That's ambitious. Let's try to get twenty. Oh, what do you see? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Are you seeing this? I didn't know this was in here. Oh my gosh! This is amazing. A 1920 Cosmopolitan. Look at that picture. Oh my gosh. Whoa. I guess it was worth $20. Who knew? I'd climb the highest mountain if I knew I'd find you. Nancy B. Castle? Whoa, that's very cool. Oh, and look at that frame, very cool. This is amazing. What year is this, does it say? Oh, 1607 Broadway, the address, whatever that is. Does anyone know? Oh my gosh, look at all of this. Yeah, it's kind of falling apart. Let us forget. Wow, 1904. Oh my gosh. Some old music. Oh, look at that image, an Indian love song. It's a beautiful image. How's it the end of a lane? Goodbye, Rosa. Look at this image. I am so in shock. This is like I was looking at the um, restore. I was looking through the music, looking for music that had a be beautiful covers and art, and then beautiful frames. And I, I didn't see anything that I was like, I need to take this home. And like all of these, I love all of them. Maybe not so much that one. <laughs> Look at this! Oh my gosh! Look at these images. Wow. Wow, 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 
warm worm. Look at that pigeon. Or I guess the dove. Wow. That's all I can say. Wow. Don't can't get Indiana off my mind. Kate Smith. She's beautiful. I wonder what she sounded like. Christmas song. This paper is kind of gray. It's not as exciting to me, but it'd be great for Christmas. Look at that image. Oh my gosh. Goodbye, farewell. Wow. Akron, Ohio. Wow. That has Victrolas. Just blown away. And I really didn't think it was going to be that exciting. Oh, I love this paper too. I didn't even look at it. But I love that color. Mm. style patterns. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, what a treasure of paper that was cut. Oh my gosh. Look at this fashion. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Those shoes, those dresses. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I am, I am dying, I am dead. What a find. Oh my gosh. Is this even real? How I saved $67 on one dress. Oh my gosh. McCall patterns from March 1921. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I love it so much. I mean, 1920 is not really my thing, but seeing this, it, it, I want it to be my thing. I, I really love it. Are you seeing this? Are you seeing this? Oh, this is going to be scanned for sure. You're seeing a digital right now, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. Look at those hats. Why don't we wear hats? I think we should bring back the hat. It's so cute. Oh, yeah, keep it here. It's safe there. Oh my gosh. You were here. You were here for this amazing find. I am going to throw these little pieces away. Oh my gosh. I am just blown away. <laughs> no, I don't want to show you anything else. Everything else is kind of... I've been looking for paper doll books 
I've seen them at the antique stores and um, they were kind of pricey and I just didn't know but for two dollars each I said yes it's, I don't think it's 80, 1987 so I guess that is kind of vintage I don't like to think that because <laughs> I was born in the 80s so I'm excited I kind of had the is the same 81 oof getting close to my birthday mm, around the world play so so yes I love it these are like small dolls they're only what better I only at three inches how tall are these guys? Four and a half inches, maybe? Four inches? Very cute. So, I thought that was a really great find. And then, I went back and forth on this one. I wasn't sure if I wanted it. It was $2.98, $3. The Modern Book of Woodling and Wood Carving. And I, <laughs> so I like the thickness of the paper. I like that it spiraled around so I can rip it out. I like the texture of having it ripped out. Oh, so it's, hmm, okay. And I put it back because I was like, I don't know. I mean, wood carving, yeah. But then there's these images like this, these line drawings of carvings. And Jordan convinced me, yeah, find me great, interesting, diverse pages in journals. So I did, as you can see, end up getting it. I really like the animals. So you might see this in a journal. What do you think? Would you be pleased to see this in a journal? Or would you think, what was Amanda thinking? This is not junk journal material. All right. Uh, I found this paper, it was only $2. It's a fancy writing paper, 100 sheets, 24 pounds. So I don't know what it actually feels like, but different texture paper, I was like, I'm in. Um, so it is a different kind of texture and it is kind of fancy. It's like old, um, resume paper yeah that's good I like that and then the chuckle book jokes and riddles 58 cents and I kind of like these illustrations these are kind of bland with the one color but there's also these colorful illustrations I don't know about the riddles and jokes. Ooh, ghosts. Spooky time here. Why are ghosts like newspapers? Because they appear in sheets. Why do ghosts chew? Booble gum. What do ghosts eat for breakfast? Ghost toasties. What do ghosts ride at the amusement park? The roller ghoster. Who did the ghost take to the movies? His girlfriend. Caught in a rainstorm, two girls ran into an old house for shelter. Please leave, please leave, whispered a grisly voice. Where are you, one girl asked bravely. I can't see you. I know, replied the horse horse. The sheets haven't come back from the laundry. Hmm. Not, not tickling my funny bone. So, yeah. Oh, this looks like Richard Scary. Not very funny. 
but some of the illustrations are adorable. So anyway. And then I think I picked this off with Jordan and she said yes. King Arthur Companion. Beautiful illustrations. Oh man. Nice. So yeah. It's like an encyclopedia of medieval words and things. I thought it'd be cool. She might do like a medieval gen journal. Not my thing, but I liked it for her. Let's see. I'm not done yet. And then I need like containers. Oh. On this. I'm not getting anything that I don't love. I decided and I saw this and it spoke to my heart for sure. Plus it was $2.98, $3. Is it worth anything? I don't know. But I have a family um, gravy boat, I think it is, in a similar pattern and style and I love it. I keep it on my microwave just as like decoration and to hold things. So I said yes. I'm gonna put my beads in it. These and things. Okay. And then and then I found this set of frames. And these actually were connected. Okay. Three dollars. And I've since seen um, more of these frames in another thrift store. So my idea is to take this part off. It's kind of like a metal. It's kind of heavy. I'm gonna gut this and put this as a frame on my next uh, large junk journals. Cause I like the idea of having a frame. I really enjoyed that. And I might paint them, I might not. We'll see, but I'm not gonna use them as frames. I'm gonna deconstruct them. And I might have to go back to get the other ones I saw in the thrift store. The other thrift store. These, maybe I shouldn't show you, are look handmade. They look like um, decoupage paper. But Jordan got this. She thought it was really funky and really artistic and very cool that it's handmade. Yeah. Okay. And then for $2. We found this little address book and we thought these little images would be so fun to cut out and use for collages and junk journals. Adorable. I mean, can you even? This is Bunny. I'm totally sold on these little baby animals. Oh, how cute. Look at that duck. And dying. So, yep. I don't know if I necessarily use the whole page. Maybe they're kind of small. Maybe if I make a tiny junk roll. But it was too cute to leave. We had to bring it home. And then, last but not least, I found these little home art magazines. They were only 50 cents and I really liked the images. If anything, I would just use it for images. Just It's just full of great things that I can scan and add to, you know, digital. Oh, look at that dude. Very, very nice. So yeah, I got a bunch of them. One, two. Three, four, five, six. Just looking for older stuff. I was really wanting to get the older stuff. I like these images. Ooh. <laughs> oh, cap 
this stretch wig. Tell me that's not amazing. Tell me you don't want a capless stretch wig in your Jung Girl Digital. You can't, you can't say it. Look at those shoes. <laughs> oh, no. Shade elegance. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Should I show you this one? Okay, I should go. Sweet corn. Just wait while you sleep. <laughs> Cute. Figure exerciser, lie down and shape up. Oh, love it. <laughs> what is this? Oh, Christmas. Look at that squirrel. That's cute. Oh, my gosh. oh the bunny. I really like bunnies. Decided. All right, so that's it, y'all. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Bye, friends.